Hello, today we will talk about a new distribution which is Spiral Linux. As you look at the logo, it is similar to a Debian logo, and that's correct because Spiral Linux is based on Debian. This is the website which is spirallinux.github.io. On this one, they give you the features that are included with Spiral Linux and why they they did this distribution if we look at the features which are interesting features the ones that are highlighted is they have a newer hardware support pre-installed you will have a new kernel a newer kernel than the long-term one which is i think now it is 5.18 for this debian installation although we are at 5.19 but 5.18 is a relatively a new kernel they opted for butterfs you can choose X ext4 or the others but by default it is butterfs and why they included butterfs because also they have included snapper so you can also if you have a problem with your installation you can use snapper there is font rendering pre-configured also which is a good addition proprietary media codex it's also a good addition that are in most uh, Debian distributions they are lacking of course hardware support printer support they have printer support included power management TLP virtual box out of the box <laughs> which is a good addition well, although you can install it uh, in the terminal but they are trying to get you away from the terminal so you'll have a better experience and Enable ZRAM by default, which is a good addition if you have an 8 gigabyte RAM hard disk. ZRAM will be very good. Uh, other than things, they, they speak here why they are uh, using Debian Linux. And here you will see the spins that are available. If you notice, they are most of the spins are included. Uh, I tried uh, Spiral Linux LXQT. It is it is not bad they give you most of the applications they give you even library office it is also pre-installed but for the lxqt version it is 0 0.16 now we are in one point something so it is a relatively old lxqt but uh, in general it is not bad with all the software support that hardware support that they are including looking at uh, the documentation they talk about uh, this build uh, build edition and they tell you that it contains a bare iswm a web browser a graphical text editor and there is a few gui configuration tools the other thing that they talk about in the documentation if you want to upgrade update or upgrade spiral linux it's a good addition if you want to upgrade from bullseye you can use this documentation so now we will start with the virtual box we'll start with the installation of spiral linux builder okay so now i uh, i made the setup for the builder all i have to do i put the iso spiral linux builder iso and i will start here welcome to spiral linux live so i press enter okay so it is configured for this machine so let me put control f okay so that's the live version of iswm if you notice it's a basic one as they told us it's a basic uh, iswm shell with the terminal and the browser and there's some gui so in order to install we go to settings or to system install spiral linux okay so this is the calamaris installer very beautiful we go for next okay okay next and here i have the hard disk it is it is not empty it has another distribution so he tell me what do you want to do you want to install alongside replace the partition or erase the disk or manual partitioning just for the sake of it i will put erase disk and he tell me there's no swap or there is a swap if we want we can put a swap and the other thing is butterfs by default you can use xfs f2fs or ext4 which is the default for debian let us continue with this butterfs and we put the name of the spiral builder 
we put a very small, a very easy password. I'll put next. So he tell us that they are creating the MS DOS partition on SDA. There is a ButterFS as boot. Install Spiral Linux on new ButterFS system partition, and they installed also the loader, bootloader. So when I press install, it will install and will come back when it's finished. So now, if you notice, there is these options the debian spiral linux and there is the advanced options for debian and there is also the spiral linux snapshots the spiral linux snapshots are the snapshots that if you want whenever you use apt it will be available if if i press it it will give me the, these all all are the, the snapshots that are available i already used this system that's why you have snapshot but if you started from scratch these snapshots will not be available let us try one of them okay let me uh, if i want i will try this this is from 29.7 and i am starting okay so spiral build and i'll put the password okay and that is the installed spiral linux so since it is basic all we have to do if you want let me press the terminal you have this ux term terminal very small one and there is the web browser okay if you notice the web browser let me it should be an esr extended support release 102 now the difference between the esr and the final version there is not much the normal version because the here we have 102 esr and the new one as for now is 105 so there's not much difference before it used to have a difference but now since they are all after 100 they basically have all the features that are available in Firefox. So this is the Firefox install. This is the web browser. If we notice, I installed also Voco Screen NG. It is not installed by default, but you can install it. The Office, they have this uh, printer support. For the other, there is the snapper. Whenever you use APT, it will create a uh, a snapshot if you notice here i used apt around uh, six times for uh, installation so you have all these if you want to roll back to another re release if you have problems with your installation you can use snapper personally i don't like snapper in debian because debian is very stable if you install or remove some stuff you will not face problems but it's a good addition and it differentiates it from another uh, systems which is good now we have the grab customizer it is a good addition there is the printer and there is light dm there is the synaptic package manager it is available in most debian uh, software and the important thing here is the software and updates so looking at this one, this is the feature that differentiates it from other Debian distros is the, the repos that they are available here. They have officially supported main and DFSG, DFSG compatible software for non-free dependencies. These are the ones that are uh, dif differentiated from the others. For the other software, you have the Bullseye Debian there's the stable the testing and the it if you want to use the testing you can remove all of these and go for the testing if you want to go to debian sid you can also remove these three and go with debian sid these are so for the updates for the authentication keys and development options the one that you are talking about if you want to upgrade let's say from debian bullseye to the newer build what you can do is you remove all of these three and you remove also all of these three. It is already written in the documentation and you update it. After you update it or you upgrade it, you put, put these three again. You put these three again and everything will be changed uh, without any problem with uh, dependencies and whatsoever. So it's a good addition. Uh, looking also at the, the, the this as the setting for the system I already installed 
Tunar, they don't have any file manager, so you need to install Tunar on this ISWM. Monitor, they have HTOP, and the terminal emulator, we have the basic one. For the utility, of course, they have also the Tunar, and there is the text editor, it is mousepad. For the monitors, okay, I'm using VirtualBox. For the programs, no programs, Windows, and settings. That's basically it. The other versions, uh, let's say LXQT I tried, the LXQT has many features, it has LibreOffice installed, many additions, but what I feel about LXQT was that it is, Lubuntu is better, so you can use Lubuntu, which is uh, updated one, which is better than that, the LXQT, and LXQT comes in Spiral Linux with version 0 0.16, which is also very old. We have the one, the, the new one is like 1.1 or something. So that's the things that are missing from Spiral Linux. But what I like about this build edition is that although this one is a window manager, you can put a, a window manager and use it. Instead of using Debian and putting a window manager, you can use this one because it has all the support the hardware support, all of the things that are important for uh, average users like uh, printers, etc, etc. If it works for you directly out of the box, the printer, all of this, you can use it to, with ease. That's the main uh, difference and that's the main choice to use Spiral Linux. That's it for now and we'll, we'll come back with another video. Thank you.